Welcome to EnviroTube. This is part three of how to do an induction, and it's proof that too much information about bees is not enough information. I hope you enjoy it. Warren actually found uh, this uh, log and the problem with the log where this native hive is it was right next to a very popular walk and it was actually quite vulnerable to people walking along. The other issue was that I think that the cavity in the log is probably too small for a long-term viable hive so I think putting a, an oath hive, an original Australian tetragonal hive, a man-made hive next to the wild hive to force the bees to go through, it will help it survive long term. Warren, what you have to do is once a month you have to take this tape off, right. lift the wooden lid, and there's yep. a sheet of perspex underneath, okay. and just see if there's any eggs sort right. of uh, forming. If there's eggs forming, this is critical, we, we want to know. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this drill punch to drill a hole like uh, a ring around the entrance of the hive and that's going to slot in. So these are exactly the same diameter. This PVC piece is going to slot in where the, the bees are going to have to fly in and out. Now, eduction. You've seen us do splits. EnviroTube's done a how-to split. Splitting is quite a brutal process. You basically rip one half of the hive off and put it on an empty bottom and vice versa. Quite a few bees die, lots of honey gets spilt. It makes the hive vulnerable to pests. There's another system called eduction. Now John Clump, one of the elders of the native bee uh, industry, he has developed this process. And basically the idea is that bees are actually looking for a new hive. By placing a suitable hive next to a wild hive, or any hive for that matter, the bees will say, whoa, just found a fantastic new space, let's start a new hive. Now, this will happen, the critical part being that you have to be able to know when the new hive starts, and then the new hive and the old hive are going to be joined by this tube. There's going to be a hole drilled in this tube. We're going to open that hole up when the eggs start being laid in the new hive. That's absolutely, it's imperative you do that because otherwise what happens is the old queen will get very annoyed, it's like really annoyed at a new hive uh, starting connected to her hive. She'll come in and kill the queen. So a lot of people have tried deductions and said, didn't work, nothing happened. Tried it for a year, nothing happened. All the bees are flying through the hive, nothing happened. What they don't realize is that probably the old queen came and killed the new queen. So that's why Warren has to, once a month, look into the, into the man-made hive, see if any eggs are being laid. As Soon as we see that eggs are being laid, that we're gonna drill a hole in this pipe, and that uh, hole is gonna let the bees either fly in or fly out. Like, but they get the choice. And the queen, the old queen then, doesn't seem nearly so stressed. As long as her bees don't have to fly through the new hive, she seems pretty relaxed about the whole thing. If you force them to fly through the hive, then she takes care of business. Okay, so this, this log actually has a live hive in it. It's, it's not a very active hive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill this hole like this. I need to seal this up. So now I'm getting the man-made hive. So we're going to seal this. Yeah. Put this on. Okey doke. Oh, well, yeah. there's obviously quite a few bees in there. You don't realise until you uh, annoy them <laughs> and they start coming out. Can you lift the top? So we want the bees, you can sort of see, the bees are going to be forced from their hive into here. Now, sort of the bees, <laughs> they're a little bit annoyed at the moment. We're having very unseasonably warm uh, winters. And the bees are quite active. Normally in winter, they're not supposed to be active at all. The bees that have come out are going to have to try and work out how to get back in. And I think that's going to be very hard for them. Probably an insurmountable problem. Are you okay to do it at yeah, night, no, connected? What we might do is, how about we do that? Once we finish filming, we actually undo it 
let them all fly around go today, back the, go back uh, in there, and then that way we won't lose any of the bees. I can do that.